New developments tonight in the Lone Star Showdown. It's day seven of the special session in Austin and still no movement in the House. Lawmakers met briefly today, but they still didn't have a quorum. And today, the Sergeant of Arms went around to the homes of some of those missing Texas Democrats to serve arrest warrants. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert followed up with one of the absent members. And Cam, really nothing can happen to those who are out of state, right? Jordan, that's correct. And because this is a civil arrest warrant, there really are limits on what officers can even do. In fact, lawmakers don't even have to answer the door. One month since Texas Democrats fled the Capitol in Austin, Speaker of the House Dade Phelan has issued civil arrest warrants for more than 50 missing Democrats. They are not authorized to, you know, enter the home as if they would be if it were a felony offense and they could take a battering ram and knock your door down. There certainly won't be any battering rams for District 22 Democratic Representative Joe Desitel, who remains in Washington, D.C. You know, staying away from your home or staying in, you know, in a hotel and getting you know, the same thing every day, it's very taxing. It's While the recent COVID surge and a federal infrastructure bill have taken the attention in D.C., Desitel says Texas Democrats remain optimistic that voting legislation will follow. Affiliated groups, national groups, civil rights groups all became energized by, by, by us coming to Washington. So it, it has grown and, I, and we, we think that it, it, it is moving forward and we will have a voting rights bill very soon. Meanwhile in Austin, a second special session remains at a standstill. 96 of 150 members were present today, still four short of the 100 needed to meet quorum. Those of us that are on the floor, the Republicans and Democrats that are on the House floor, we're doing things that are constitutional. State Representative James White believes House Speaker Phelan has done a good job navigating a difficult situation. And I believe the governor should use all the tools in concert with the speaker and the lieutenant governor to ensure that we can get these uh, issues addressed. White says he has always found himself willing to work towards compromise. I wasn't elected by uh, my constituents in Southeast Texas to come up here and, and, and settle a score or carry a grudge. I came up here to work. And so as the House failed to meet quorum today, they met for a few minutes and could really only stand at ease after that. Tomorrow, they'll try again. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.